Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. found myself modeling an old building the other day, and to give it more of a finished look, I wanted to add some of these attic or roof uh, ventilators that help to remove the excessive heat from the attic area. And so this is the model that we're going to set out and model today. So coming on over in the hexagon. Uh, be because it's going on a roof, I want it to have this curved look rather than have this look where it's just sticking straight onto the roof. So to start off with, I'm going to come down to a top view, use lines, and create a circle and 20 points is exactly what I want surface modeling coon surface let's give it a solid surface here come over here to select edges select all those edges and I'm just gonna hit the backspace button to get rid of them now I have a solid disk come over here to my tools Let me use my lay on tool, select my um, my disk, and then select my roof, and it will lay it right there on my roof. And now come over here to vertex modeling and use my sweep surface tool. And now I will give it that little bend uh, that I that I want it to have. Let me zoom in here just a little bit. And one final one. Now chances are this top surface is not horizontal and I would like it to be so I'm just going to loop all those top edges and I came pretty close but this is the offset so I'm going to change that to zero on the Y axis and and now it's parallel or it's ho completely horizontal. So let's come over here to lines and with that uh, selection of edges already highlighted for us. I'm going to come over here and extract that. So now I've got my little um, circle here. Well, now I need to extrude that, so I'm going to come over here to Vertex Modeling, Sweep Surface Tool, and sweep it up to about there. You may want to play around with these values to you, to you uh, arrive at a size you want. Over here on free tessellate I'm going to use this tessellation by slice. Hold down shift and slice that thing right through the middle. Come back to select edges, select some of them, hit my shortcut L on the keyboard to loop that all the way around and now I'm just going to expand it out and I really have no preset size that I'm looking for. I'm just kind of eyeballing it come over here to select faces and I'm going to select every other face so hold down shift and keep adding more selections or more faces to my selection here there we are and select those okay let me double check I got every other one selected I'm going to delete those come over here to my select points. Now I really don't know whether I want to select the left or the right. Uh, I understand how these things work but um, as far as I'm concerned whether you select the left one or the right one and eh, I don't think it would really matter. So I'm just going to select the left one on all of these. There we are and I'm going to spin around to the top here and I'm going to use the center axis scaling thingy widget gizmo and I'm just going to bring them in a little bit now to 
get a better idea on what this looks like, I'm going to add two levels of smoothing to it. And let me play around with a little bit more. I guess that should be good. Uh, come over here and let's choose that uh, or select that object that we just uh, scaled the inside on. Control D to duplicate that and now I'm just going to rotate it so that all of the points meet. And let's see what we got there. There we go. I think that will work. Well I will select both of those two pieces and weld them together. Let me hide it for now. Come back to this object here. I'm going to select uh, that top edge there, loop it, come over here to lines, extract that, raise it up a little bit, and this will be the top piece. Vertex modeling, sweep surface, come over here and close, close off the top, select edges, select that bottom edge, loop that, and I'm just going to ex uh, you know, scale this out, expand it out just a little bit. Loop that, let's add, uh, oh, I'm just going to add a slight bevel to this. There we are, apply that, oops, apply, or validate, there we are. And there we are, we've got a very simple little ventilator for our roof here. Let's select all of these objects and group them together. And then figure out how large we want this thing to be. And place it right down here on our roof. We could probably, no, we can't do the lay on because it will add it. Put it right in the center of our roof. Actually, you know what I want to do? Let me hide my building here. Uh, let's close off this bottom piece. Select that. Sweep surface. Let's expand it out a little bit. Validate that. And set this right on top of our roof. And it fits nice and flush. There we are. Probably want to add one more level of smoothing to this, this one piece. A level of two seems to look good. And there we go. We've got a bunch of our little uh, vent uh, ceiling or attic vents for our uh, any type of project you'd want to make. So there you go. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.